guys, Kate from Crocovlog is here and today I'd like to show you how to use one of the coolest features of Jetrix plugin, a tooltip extension for Elementor. And with the help of this widget extension, you will be able to create such an amazing layouts with tooltips just like that or even cooler. And before we start, we have to make sure that this extension is actually turned on in our dashboard. So let's go to dashboard, Jet plugins, Jetrix settings available extensions and make sure that the tooltip widget extension is toggled on. Mine is on so we can proceed to the next step. So let's go to the pages and open the page that we would like to add our tooltip extension to. Uh, let's click on edit with Elementor. Okay great, so as you can see I've got five images over here Four of them are already set up and we have to just finish with the fifth one, the Thor's hammer. So to do that we have to click on the image, then go to the advanced settings tab, click on Jet Tricks and enable tooltip extension. So as you can see once I turned on the extension uh, we've got the tooltip over here. So let's change the text. Great. Um, we can actually use different placement for our tooltip, either from top, bottom, left or right. I'll use the left one. Uh, also, we can apply different animation types to the tooltip. So it can either be swift away, fade, scale, there we go, perspective and shift toward. I'll use this one. And before we start playing around with the placement of uh, the tooltip, I would like to add an image first and to do that I have to click on the style tab, scroll down a little bit and click on the classic background type. Choose an image, there we go, insert the media. As you can see this plane is kind of in not really good manner so uh, we have to play around with the size of the tooltip itself. So um, I've just adjusted the width of the image and we have to choose the position so it should be center center, no repeat, cover and also we have to play around a little bit with the padding uh, so as you can see right now it looks just great probably as for me. Um, I don't want to have this arrow over here so that is why we can just um, make it invisible and there we go um, and also we can adjust the typography a little bit so it can be Robota uh, and let's make it 14. Great! looks pretty nice. And right now let's go back to the settings tab and play around with the um, offsets. So let's make it 50. Okay, no, we don't need 50 so it should be like that. Let's go to the minus, um, minus 60 and minus there we go. Looks better. 16 and 19. Okay, so we can update the changes and let's try to preview the result to see what's going to happen on the front end. Okay, so if we hover on different objects on the page, we can see a tooltip which shows uh, the name of um, the character that has uh, this item and we can see his picture. So it was pretty easy, isn't it? So if you guys have any questions, if you have any comments or actually um, if you have any ideas how to apply the tooltip extension in a different way and just let us know, you can um, post them on the Facebook community board and also guys don't forget to check out the video that Jules is preparing for you with the hotspot and I'm sure it will be pretty nice so guys don't forget to check it out. Thank you very much for uh, your attention, I hope that you will have um, a wonderful day and if you have any questions just let us know. Cheers guys!